Peacemaker. I'm Pira Nad. Today, Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Hi, Hi sir. Thank you for having me, Pia. Yeah. All right. So, Secretary Delphine, um, you have worn many hats for President Duterte. You were his martial law administrator. You were also COVID-19 National Task Force Chairperson. And tuwing may bagyo, may sakuna, you are the go-to guy of the president. So you've been in the cabinet um, since 2016. You're one of President Duterte's constant advisors. So um, that's why we think it's very fitting also to ask you about the president's leadership style. But uh, we, we also want to talk to you about um, challenges and controversies surrounding your sector, in defense and security sector. So, sir, um, Sigiri, the most uh, pressing issue now is the VFA, right? Uh, we just heard, yeah. just, yeah. you also announced um, a few days ago that uh, the president finally agreed to keep the VFA. Uh, and this was after the visit of U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin III. So, sir, you also said before, uh, no changes to the text. Um, but we've also heard about a side agreement on troop custody. Sir, when will this be signed? And um, can we know also the content of this side agreement? Yes, Apia. Uh, there is uh, actually a document being uh, you know, made uh, in conjunct in partnership with the Americans by the uh, Presidential Commission on uh, Visiting Forces. Unfortunately, I'm not a privy to that uh, document. Uh, I only heard that it's already there at the office of the president, but uh, I believe uh, before the, the, the uh, letter of termination was retracted by the uh, president, uh, hindi naman nila yon ginagalaw dahil kung matuloy yung abrogation ng BFA, di walang kwenta din yon. I believe that after that, after the retraction of the uh, termination letter, tuloy na siguro yung na yon, uh, dokumento na yon, I think it will be reviewed uh, I hope I can see it also so that I can talk about it. Pero nandyan na yan sa, on the, on the uh, drawing board. Nandyan na yan sa Malacanang at uh, nakihintay lang ng uh, scrutiny ng OP bago pupunta kay Presidente. Mm -hmm. Sir, in broad strokes, what can you tell us about the agreement? Tama po ba na this is about troop custody? Ah, isa yan. Isa yan sa troop custody. Yung uh, mga nagkakasalan ng mga Amerikano kung sino mm -hmm. mag-custody. Kasi doon sa original uh, document, uh, it is to, uh, the, under the custody of the Americans na medyo yan ang irritants eh. Uh, napakaraming mm -hmm. uh, against na, na Pilipino sa atin niya kasi katulad nung mga namatay, na rape, ay hindi mm -hmm. natin mahawakan despite the fact that uh, they committed the crimes here in the Philippines. So, yun ang Yun ang one of the most contentious issue. Did the president ask for this agreement specifically? Parang condition po ba niya ito? Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Kami lang nag-ano dyan. nag na lang kami uh, yung PCBF at yung security sector para naman uh, ma-address yung concern ng mga ta ng mga kababayan natin. Kung paano natin ipatupad yung ating VFA na hindi naman nagrabyado yung mga tao natin. Kaya yun, ano, yun ang naging origin yan. Hindi naman kami inutosan ni Presidente. Ang kusang loob lang kami. Nating na natin yung uh, agreement. Mm. And then sir, in relation to that, uh, did you and Secretary Austin discuss also yung EDCA? Kasi alam, alam natin, offshoot yung EDCA sa VFA and sa MDT. Um, can we expect changes in the remaining months of the 30 admin on the EDCA? Uh, wala eh. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. hindi namin napag-usapan yan ni uh, Secretary Austin. Yun lang napag-usapan namin yung MDT, uh, how to go about, how to move forward. Yung uh, South China Sea, kung paano na mapanatili yung katahimikan dyan. Then the BFA, nung uh, sinabi ko sa kanya na niretract na ni President yung yung termination order, eh, sabi niya, can we, ang sinabi lang niya, can we announce that today? So, in-announce ko nung press call namin. So, yun lang napag- Saka yung, ato, yung, ano, yung balikatan, yung exercise natin, which mm. is uh, the major part of uh, BF, the BFA, uh, magpo-pull blast na naman tayo next year, hopefully, itong pandemic na to, eh, medyo bababa ng gusto para naman may patupad natin o matupad natin yung ating mga plano para sa balikatan exercises. Um, isa pa, yung bilateral natin, uh, kung anong magagawa nila sa mga equipment acquisition natin, uh, napag-usapan din namin yun. Mm. 
Uh, Secretary, when you say full blast yung balikatan, what do you mean? Like, what, when can we expect the next exercise and how will this be different from the, the previous part of the term of the president? Uh, actually, wala namang pinagbago dun sa time ni, ni President Duterte except yung patrol dyan sa pinagbawal na yung, pat, yung exercises dyan sa West Philippine Sea habang uh, mayroon pa tayong mga um, pinag-uusapang uh, disputes with China, no? Uh, otherwise, wala namang pinagbago eh. Dito sa land exercise, pareho rin. Uh, normally, itong uh, B, yung balikatan nag ng May at uh, tuloy-tuloy yan, yung pinakamalaki niyan ay yung balikatan exercises, yung uh, troop uh, Army, Navy, Air Force exercise uh, dito sa Luzon. Pero all over uh, ano throughout the year meron tayong mga madilit na exercises mostly tabletop exercise mga madilit na tropa pumupunta rito to uh, improve our interoperability pero marami yan i think it consists of about uh, more than 100 exercises mm. pinakamalaki lang diyan yung balikatan pero marami din tayong madilit na exercise na ongoing so yan nangyayari na yan noon nung, nung tempo ni president Duterte bago na uh, uh, itong during the COVID uh, pandemic, itong COVID na to, medyo, you know, 2020, kadansel natin yan. Ngayong uh, 2021, uh, hindi pa rin sigurado kung itutuloy natin because marami tayong lockdown. Mm-hmm. So, baka hindi matutuloy. Baka next year na tayo mag-resume. Mag, ano, mag but sir, but, uh, Secretary, when you say um, yung patrols, ibig sabihin, ibabalik na po yung, yung West Philippine Sea Patrols with the U.S. forces? Uh, sa ngayon, hindi pa muna siguro. Pag-aralan natin mabuti kung ano ang magiging benefit sa atin kung magkipag-joint patrol tayo sa kanila. Anyway, uh, hindi naman natin sila mapigilan kung gusto nila magpatrolya dyan. We are not uh, private to their decision making kung magpatrolya sila. Yun nga, uh, gusto rin ng mga ibang bansa katulad ng uh, UK, uh, France, Japan na uh, magkaroon ng joint patrol. So, tinan natin kasi in the first place, wala tayong masyadong assets na i-contribute sa mga patrols na yan dahil yung ating mga barko natin ng Navy ay busy-busy rin sa pagpapatrol uh, yan doon sa South China Sea pangangalaga ng ating mga mangingisda. Okay. Secretary, I'd like to take this opportunity also to ask you about many other issues and controversies surrounding your sector. Um, first of all, yung UPD and the Accord, very controversial to. Uh, um, this was uh, also something that you were heavily criticized on. Um, and you had meetings also with UP officials and you said that you were open to maybe bring back uh, the agreement. So, ano pong latest dito? What have you decided and will we see a return of that accord within the term of the president? Hindi na. Uh, after uh, much uh, scrutiny and study PIA, ay, uh, we at the Defense Department uh, uh, concluded that hindi na, hindi na kailangan ibalik kasi yun namang uh, functions ng uh, EFP noon nung under pa niya yung P- uh, PCINP ay lumipat na doon sa, sa PNP o the ILG. Hindi na yan uh, sakop ng, uh, ng defense. So yung pinagbabawal nila doon ay yung mga patrolya dyan ng mga polis, uh, aristo ng polis. Eh hindi naman nag aristo yung mga army. Hindi naman we are not arresting people, we are not supposed to arrest people, we are not supposed to patrol people. So par- as far as we are concerned, the agreement is uh, more an academic and dapat pag-usap yung uh, UP doon na sa DILG dahil sila na yung ano, meron din naman agreement yung si ano eh. May agreement din si Secretary, former Secretary Alunan with the OP uh, administration tungkol doon. So, hindi na namin pinurso yung usapan namin ni ano, yung President na ano, President na yung UP dahil sa tingin ko naman na al- alam din niya na motan academic na yun. Parang ang gusto lang nila may balama, um, ano, ma-rectify yung, ma- nabigla lang kasi sila doon eh. Sabi nga sa akin, nabigla sila masyado, hindi wala man lang pasabi, wala nga ano. So I also admitted my, my mistake for not uh, informing them beforehand before I abrogated the uh, agreement. Uh, but Secretary, you're saying that uh, Mutin Academic is the military doesn't uh, arrest, but the military is in charge of the communist crackdown, is it not? And that's the reason why you were saying kailangan i-lift yung accord because you wanted to ano yan, target supposedly recruitment activities in UP? So are you saying hindi that naman, you're wala nang ganun? 
Uh, yung active natin na ano dyan, active na intelligence operations dyan sa loob, uh, tuloy pa rin yun dahil hindi na lahat naman, open naman lahat yung uh, buong, ang buong bansa naman, eh, it's not, uh, wala naman dyan, exclusive na hindi pwede pasokin na intelligence. Pero yun lang, we are just gathering information about uh, what's happening there kung Lahil, uh, we have uh, the, the intelligence community has evidence that uh, the UP has been the recruiting ground of EPAs kasi nga dahil doon sa mga namamatay na mga teenager or even young people who are students of UP, not only UP Diliman but the uh, UP campus all over the country na namamatay sila sa Encuentro na kasama ng EPA. So, Tuloy, tuloy pa rin yun, tuloy yung ating, kahit, kahit naman siguro nung uh, mayroong agreement dyan, yun, nung uh, in, ongoing yung agreement, eh, mayroon pa rin uh, intelligence operation dyan na hindi. Kasi intelligence dyan eh, so uh, it is part of the uh, function of the state to protect itself. So lahat ng method, legal methods na pwedeng gamitin, gagamitin dyan to uh, protect the state. Mm. So just lastly on this topic, you're saying, sir, na intelligence activities will continue in UP, that it's ongoing. And, uh, sir, anong assurance naman ng UP students and teachers that uh, their privacy, their rights will be protected while in UP without this accord? Oh, yeah. Well, maganda naman yung alam namin. Eh. Very strict naman yung implementation namin ng aming rules dyan. Uh, alam naman ng intelligence kung anong dapat nilang gawin. Alam naman nila yung uh, consequences if they uh, violate the rights of uh, of people, especially the students. And, uh, Gusto nga namin ipaalam sa mga estudyante na kami ay nandiyan nakakatulong nila. We are partners to maintain peace and order and to ensure that uh, they can study properly so that they can uh, finish their schools and become productive members of the society. Okay. Uh, Secretary, next topic, uh, another controversy hounding the defense secretary would be the Jember uh, coalition or uh, sir, yung incident sa West Philippine Sea with their fishermen. Um, sir, naalala ko, you were uh, the first to announce this, di ba? Sabi niyo pa nga, confrontation. And then after a few weeks, you you said na ah, accident siya uh, because kulang daw sa information. Sir, just uh, a secretary, si, si Presidente Duterte po, but did you brief him on this incident when it happened? Can you just narrate to us how the President uh, understood the incident and um, what you felt with his response and his remarks about the incident after? I'm not uh, I did not brief him. Uh, I, I believe some, uh, some other people brief him. I think the West Philippines Task Force uh, mm. briefed him about this. And at any way, uh, nandiyan naman sa dyaryo yan na pinapag-usapan. Uh, so, alam niya yon. Alam niya yung mga nangyayari dyan. In fact, uh, uh, he mobilized all the departments like the uh, Department of, uh, of uh, Agriculture that has uh, the restriction over the Bureau of Fish and Aquatic Resources. Immediately, nagpunta si Secretary Pinyol doon at nagbigay ng tulong, ayuda sa mga fishermen na nawalan ng uh, alap buhay. Uh, kami naman, in-insure namin na uh, safety ng mga tao. So, part of the job of the Navy or the, the Coast Guard was to uh, escort yung mga mga yung, yung, yung barko na yun, yung vessel, yung fishing boat. Kasi hindi naman lumabog yung fishing boat eh. Dahil yung unahan lang naman ng nabangga, uh, naputol yon, But it's still afloat. So, ang ginawa ng ano, ang Coast Guard is to escort that to Mindoro, yung home port niya sa Mindoro. And then, uh, Secretary, after nun, actually in other, other incidents like this, uh, usually very strong yung statement niyo, especially recently dun sa swarming ng, Fili- ng Chinese vessels. Uh, yes, and then yes. we, hear from, we hear from the President and Malacanang na, no one but I, no one but the president can uh, insult um, foreign foreign bodies. So parang uh, it came across to the public na may, may reprima- reprimand either to you and or Secretary Delphine. Kasi, ah, sorry, Loxin, kasi pati siya, diba? Strong yung kanyang remarks doon. Um, what do you think of this na parang in a way Malacanang appears to be softening uh, or not echoing your strong remarks? And we even hear sometimes the president echoing China by saying that the Hague ruling is just a piece of paper meant to be thrown in the trash can. Bakit may ganitong uh, Yeah, I think this the, the president has his own uh, way of dealing with foreign uh, matters. You know? mm-hmm. Ako naman, eh, hindi naman ako nagsasalita ng offensive words, kundi strong lang, strong diplomatic words lang na mm-hmm. dapat wala sila dyan, mabalis sila doon. 
hindi naman ako nagmumura. Ang nagmumura si Sikitari Luxin. Yun ang gustong sabihin ni ni Sikitari Roque. <laughs> Nang sinabi niya na only the president uh, is authorized to uh, to curse or whatever sa so, uh, ganyan. No? Yun ang umpisa nun uh, para isa lang. Isa lang ang uh, pwede magmura. Oh. But uh, yung ano kasi, the president has been consistent with his uh, policies on China. No? Sa so, umpisa pa lang. Ano? Ang pan naman niya is uh, let us be friends uh, to everyone and enemy to no one. So he's stuck with that uh, that principle up to now. So ganoon pa rin sabi niya na hindi naman pwedeng uh, ang tingin ko ha, ang tingin ko sa kanya ano mga body language niya at sa kanyang intensyon niya at sa sinasabi niya nung nakaraan na hindi naman natin natin uh, dapat na kagalit ang mga kapit bahay natin ay eh, pwede naman pag-usapan yung mga mga differences katulad nung nung West Philippine Sea dahil yung China naman meron naman silang claim ako dito do historical historical re, ano, claims nila tayo meron tayong uh, iisit under own clause at saka yung arbitrary ruling so mas malakas uh, I've always uh, argued against the the Chinese ambassador the former Chinese ambassador na we have two documents to prove that uh, we have sovereign rights over the West Philippine Sea samantalang mm-hmm. kayo ay wala yung ng inyong uh, claims ninyo na hindi naman na uh, Uh, based on facts. Mm-hmm. Pero bakit, Sek, uh, iba-iba yung messaging from you, from the palace, from the president? We, How come the government is not speaking with one voice on the China issue? Hindi ba kayo nag-coordinate on the messaging? Uh, nag- nagkakaintindihan naman kami ni Presidente sa mga sinasabi namin. Uh, hindi naman niya ako pinagbabawalan na magsalita ng uh, mal- mal- malakas against the intrusion of China, hindi rin niya pinagbabawalan si Secretary Luxin, mm-hmm. except yung kanyang pagmumura. Uh, so, it is to me, is a balancing act uh, for him. Dahil sinasabi niya, it's, uh, I have a very difficult job here, balancing my position with the Chinese and with the Americans and with the other members of ASEAN. So, naintindihan namin yan. Ano? Uh, kami naman sa, sa lupa, sa ground, eh, We have to prove, we have to show also to our people that we are strong we we, are, we strongly uh, pursue our interest also in West Philippine Sea kaya kami nagsasalita ng ganun ni Secretary Luxin. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, yan ang pagkakaya ano ko pagka-analyze ko doon sa nangyayari sa atin not necessarily na hindi magkasundo but uh, we have our own uh, our own direction to pursue our national interest. Si Presidente mas mataas siya kami dito lang sa tactical kami siya strategic ang iniisip niya. Last on this topic, kung strategic secretary, what what happens to ground troops or even to you? What what How does it affect your job when the president says, for example, in the UN General Assembly, uh, the Hague ruling, um, I, I will reject attempts to undermine the Hague ruling, but very uh, good words to hear for soldiers protecting the West Philippine Sea. But um, a year after, he says, the Hague ruling is a piece of trash to be thrown in the trash bag. <laughs> paano paano uh, na-affect yung job niyo doon? I I cannot really fathom naman kung saan siya nanggagaling doon. Pero ang pagkakasabi ko ito, I'm not uh, really expert on reading the mind of the president. Hanggang ngayon nga medyo na ano pa rin ako ay surprised by this by the uh, by the by the things na sinasabi niya na kuminsan ano. Uh, I think uh, yung sinasabi niya na we will protect you know, we will protect the hag hag ruling kasi yung ruling naman ng ano yung award na binigay sa atin ng arbitral uh, arbitral court ay already part of international law hindi na pwedeng ano yan yan eh hindi na pwedeng uh, mawala yan nandiyan na yan eh it is there forever mm-hmm. uh, yung ruling na yan unless na magruling ulit yung PCA otherwise ano so nandiyan na yan hindi na mababago yun ang gusto niyang sabihin it's there at simply be, uh, to be implemented and it cannot be uh, changed ngayon, yung sinasabi niya naman na uh, piece of paper, uh, I think he is looking at it from the point of view of the Chinese. Kasi yung sabi ng China, we do not respect that. Eh. So, as far as uh, the Chinese is concerned, ay, walang, walang visa yung papel na yon as far as they are concerned. So, yun ang pinanggagalingan ng Presidente. It's not actually, to me, it's not uh, his uh, full position pero pinapaliwanag lang niya na yung yung 
yung agreement na yan, yung award na yan, na should have been involved ng tat, uh, three parties, dalawang uh, disputants, at saka isang uh, arbit, arbitrator. Eh, hindi nagkasundo, hindi nga, pum hindi nga pumayag yung ano eh, hindi nga nagparticipate yung isang uh, disputant eh. So, ano ang visa nung, ano, nung, uh, nung, nung agreement? Uh, as far as other people are concerned, eh, wala eh. Hindi naman ma-implement eh. Nobody will implement it. Sino mag-implement nung arbitral ruling? The Philippines, we cannot implement that. Uh, kasi wala naman tayong lakas na implement natin dyan sa West Philippine Sea. Sabi nga ni Presidente, uh, we cannot uh, do it on our own, but uh, we need the help of other uh, like-minded countries so that uh, the international rules-based order is uh, mm -hmm. observed. But uh, our allies like Australia, Japan, US, they all stand behind the Hague ruling also. So actually, it's really just China who's who's uh, parang refusing to acknowledge the Hague ruling, di ba po? Yes, yes, that, that's true. Kasi nga, uh, it, it, ano, it, naapiktuhan din yung interest nila na yung kanilang tinatawag nilang uh, historical uh, claims over the South China Sea ay mawawalan din ng visa. Kung, kaya hindi nila recognize yan sa tingin ko um, kasi it, it will affect also their claims. Uh, Secretary Lorenzana, there's also another pattern we've seen in the administration where the president tends to appoint AFP chiefs for a few months only, four to five months, and then bago na naman yung AFP chief. Um, have, have you ever taken a stand on this? Do you agree with this practice? Uh, and what do you think its impact is on the military? I have always been against that yeah, ever since the start. Siguro, nung nasa servisyo pa ako, I'm already, I've already voiced my concern and objection to that practice because uh, it is not good for the organization, ano, yung sandali lang yung chief of staff. Kaya lang, wala naman magawa si Presidente. Nandiyan kasi yung batas eh, na pagka dumating sa edad na 56 yung uh, officer, ay mandatory ang retirement niya. So, the only way to uh, rectify this is uh, <coughs> for the law to be amended. But it's up to the president to pick naman the AFP chief sec, di ba? He can, he can decide to pick a younger. Uh, yeah, yeah he, can, he, he can decide to pick a younger, pero ang mm -hmm. nangyari Bahan kasi, binag uh, binigyan niya ng, ng premium yung seniority. So, may mga chief of, chief of staff during his time that uh, lasted for uh, one year. Iba naman, mga six months. Ang uh, pinaka-short is uh, three months. Ano? Uh, not really good because uh, palit ng palit yung leader sa, sa taas. Uh, kung minsan nawawalan ng direction yung organization. So, hmm. we, uh, we, we, we hope to uh, rectify that during this term. Meron na kaming uh, panukalang batas dyan sa Congress, sa House at saka sa Senate to rectify this. So that uh, yung chief of staff at saka yung ibang mga general na general general position will have three years in that position. So pagka nap napasa yun ngayong taon na to, Siguro next year ba implementa natin so that uh, magkakaroon ng konting stability yung leadership ng AFP. Hmm. Although so, the president can ex extend the hmm. the president can extend the term of the chief of staff ay isa lang hmm. ang inextend niya si Secretary Anyo. He extended hmm. the Secretary Anyo's term by uh, I think uh, three months. Kasi nga do dahil doon sa Marawi, oh, Marawi si Mar oh, Marcelo after that nag-retire siya. So, hindi naman siya nag-extend. He followed the law, the law na uh, hanggang 56 lang yung, uh, yung edad ng sundalo, ng, ng opisyal. Mm. And then another controversy secretary that also um, haunted the administration was yung revocation or yung um, parang invalidation of the amnesty of Senator Antonio Torlianes. And alam natin, this shook up the military because the bites um Amnesty is something that soldiers also have enjoyed, other soldiers aside from um, Senator Trillanes. Uh, did you ever um, take a stand on this? What did you think of the president's um, decision to do this? And you told me before, you, you, were, you, you were surprised, you were caught off guard nung uh, in-announce the president itong decision niya in, through a newspaper. But after that, uh, did you take any steps to maybe um, tell the president how it should be handled? How this issue should be handled? No, because uh, the amnesty is actually uh, the realm of uh, the Justice Department. Uh, no. Although the amnesty, naman, yung gagaling dito sa yung 
sa AFP at the time when uh, the amnesty was uh, was uh, recommended to the president ano uh, hindi ko alam yung details uh, ng pagkaka pagkaka invalidate ng amnesty niya but uh, hindi ko naman pinalo up yon kasi wala na na busy din ako so mm. i just let it uh, stand uh, hindi ko na pinakialaman yon mm. But did you ever hear any word from maybe other soldiers, other maybe even alumni about this issue? Na bothered ba sila? Did they ever air their um, uncertainties or concerns about this with you? Hindi naman. Wala naman ako narinig. Wala naman ako narinig. So. Okay. Uh, and then, Secretary, syempre we are looking forward to um, 2022 elections. Um, yes. May bagong presidente, di ba? New, new government. Uh, Siguro, let's just get this out of the way. Are you running for any position in the 2022 election? <laughs> No, I am not. I am not. Uh, so okay. A lot of people are telling me to run, but uh, ayaw ko na. Uh, masadong ma ano yan? Masadong masalimot yung buhay na politika. Mm, ano ano po? Ano bang planyo after this uh, administration? Oh, I'll retire. I'll relax for a little bit. Tapos after that, siguro I'll uh, take a part-time job para naman meron mm. na kung ginagawa. Mahirap naman yung walang ginagawa pag uh, after so very hectic uh, years. Tapos bigla ka magpahinga at uh, dapat. I will continue with uh, busying myself on some other projects na mm. for the community or for myself. The military is heavily involved in elections. I mean, you, you are you in charge of security during elections. And alam natin na uh, hindi rin na, napopoliticize din ang military minsan, like especially in this highly um, divisive uh, political uh, environment we have. And with the elections coming in, how do you assure Filipinos that soldiers will remain apolitical during this this democratic exercise? Oh, madali lang. Uh, the sanctions will be uh, harsh for people mm. who are uh, involving themselves in politics. Ngayon, ang, the, the job of the military during election is to secure the peace para yung mga tao, uh, the, uh, the politicians can campaign freely. They can go anywhere they want to campaign. Uh, mm -hmm. Kasama na dyan siguro yung gagawin natin na mapigilan yung mga NPA na mag-impose ng mga campaign uh, uh, campaign payment or uh, permit to campaign ng ginagama, ginagawa nila dyan sa mga liblib na buhok na, tulad ng Samar, Davao, Orient, uh, Davao, Eastern, Mindanao at saka sa Negros, yun ang mga hotspots niyan eh, at saka Bicol. Ito yung mga lugar na medyo nanggugulo yung mga NPA. So, yun ang namin tatargetin. Ang otos, ang otos ko sa mga sa AFP especially is to be apolitical. Hindi sila dapat mag-involve sa politics. Mm -hmm. uh, ang gagawin lang nila kung nanganganib yung mga kanjan, nanganganib yung mga buhay ng mga kandidato, eh, pwede silang magbigay ng security. Pero temporary security lang yan. After that, uh, hindi na sila magsisecure. So, while they are there, they are not supposed to uh, campaign uh, yung mga tropa natin sa field. They are not supposed to go around campaigning for uh, uh, candidates. In fact, uh, I, 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 do, I, do, I also forbid them from uh, discussing with other people kung sino yung kanilang iboboto. Kailangan mm -hmm. personal na nilang wala nyo. They can, they can discuss them among themselves the uh, organization but you cannot discuss it with other uh, civilians kasi mahirap na yan ma 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 charge tayo na uh, politicking tayo where do you draw the line secretary when we know that the government especially the anti terror council and the mtf lk uh, you're trying to get they're trying to get progressive party lists to be disqualified in the 2022 election so paano kung may sundalo na magpost on social media na uh, huwag iboto itong progressive party kasi supposedly, uh, ano sila, parang NPA members. I mean, where do you draw the line there? Will you allow that? Uh, sa akin, ano, that is uh, foul, ano, kasi hindi naman sila, may, ano, uh, sundalo sila. And uh, being a soldier, carries with it some weight, ano, may bigat din yung sundalo, kahit na sundalo lang na private, pagka sinasabi na yan, na parang magkakaroon din siya ng konting influence sa community niya dahil uh, of his position. Ngayon, kung retired na yun, retired na siya, civilian na siya, uh, he can do whatever he wants. So. Mm -hmm. Now, sir, uh, kasi we're also moving towards, syempre, a new president next year, May 2022. Uh, anong platforms on defense and security do you want to hear from presidential candidates? What do you think they should be addressing in their platforms in terms of this, this year sector? 
Well, uh, this is my suggestion. Ano, yung next president should have also a strong stand on the West Philippine Sea. Dahil atin naman yan, uh, mm. should pursue it. Another one is uh, stand against the communist insurgency. Kung sana maipagpatuloy nila yung uh, NTF LCAC during the next administration. Kasi napaka, ano yan, eh, napaka effective on Ethiopia. Um, it is a whole of nation, not only whole of government, whole of nation approach involving everybody to uh, solve uh, the insurgency by addressing addressing the root causes of insurgency. Nandiyan pa rin naman yan eh. Uh, meron namang basihan yung mga insurgency. Ah. Pero the only way to resolve that is for everybody to work together, especially the uh, local government officials, the national gov government agencies like the DPA, the PWS, the OE, lahat na, lahat na. Kaya yung LCAC na yan, sa every region, meron tayong uh, LCAC team composed of all these uh, uh, agencies na nagpapatupad ng mga dapat gawin sa komunidad. Uh, tulad ng sa isang bayan, kailangan nila ng kalsada, nandyan na yung uh, DPWH, Corriente, nandyan DOE, everything. So that ma-address ma 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 natin eh, kasi yung nangyayari dyan sa Eastern Mindanao, sa mga liblib na puok, ang nagpapa, nagpapatayo ng eskula dyan ay mga NPA na. So we should address their needs, the needs of the kids in these uh, areas para naman hindi sila makuha ng MPA, ma, ma, ma propagandize. Pangalawa, yung pangatlong bagay is uh, to uh, keep uh, improving the equip capabilities of the military. Yung, pwede, continuous yung ating pag-angkat ng mga capital assets like uh, Mabarco. Mm -hmm. Aeroplano, helicopters, uh, saka iba pang mga kagamitan para mapangalagaan natin yung ating um, maritime domain at saka yung ating territory. Ngayon, bakit barko? Dahil napakalawak ng ating uh, maritime domain. Napaka, napakalaki niyan. Sa ngayon, ang ginagamit nating pagpatrolya dyan sa West Philippines Sea ay talaga ako pinaka-maximum number lang at any one time is five ships. Samantalang yung uh, uh, I ibang bansa ay siguro mga daan, mga sandaang barko ang nagpapatrolya dyan. So, dapat uh, tapatan din natin sila so that uh, we can also protect our fishermen when they, when they fish there. Um, I think those are the three. Oh, terrorism din also. Terrorism, kailangan din malakas din ang ating ang, ang, ano natin, ang uh, stand against terrorism. So, meron lang dyan. Nandyan na yung ano, in place na yung uh, infrastructure in fighting terrorism. So, ipagpatuloy na lang. Uh, Pangapat siguro is to continue implementing the uh, Bangsamoro Organic Law. Uh, mm -hmm. Dahil uh, importante yan sa BARM. Kailangan magkaroon na rin ng katahimikan doon. Dahil sa lahat ng region ng Pilipinas, eh, medyo nahuhuli na yung BARM sa development and everything because of the peace and order problem. Hindi Do you maka... agree, Secretary, that um, their election should be postponed? Agree po ba kayo doon? I agree. I support that. Uh, alam ni Presidente yan uh, dahil ito ha, ito ang uh, ano ko, three years is not enough to uh, for these new new leaders to put in place the infrastructure of good governance kasi magkakrap sila ng I think uh, eight laws uh, walong batas tapos meron pa silang uh, decommissioning ng mga troops uh, lahat-lahat na nagsabay-sabay yan and ang pinaka uh, ano to pinaka Malaking uh, factor ng aking pag-support sa uh, postponement is because none of them have any uh, experience in governance. Hindi sila nag, uh, nagka, naging mayor man lang or whatever, mm -hmm. na governor whatever. So nagangapanga pa sila. This started from zero. So to me, three years is not enough. Pagbigyan na natin sila, sabi ko kay President, let's give them a chance to do their job for the next three years more. Then after that election na. Uh, mm -hmm. marami, meron, lang, meron lang dalawang uh, LGU leaders dyan na ayaw ng extension. Mm -hmm. Yung Sulu at si saka Sulu. Cotabato, sa, uh, Cotabato City. But, uh, mm -hmm. oh, si Sakortan at saka si Mayor Cynthia. But anyway, uh, the others are uh, already supportive of the, uh, of the extension. So I hope uh, Congress will pass the law, will pass a law, because nasa kanila ngayon eh. Mm -hmm. The ball is in their court and um, hopefully they can pass a law that uh, will extend uh, the term of the BTA, the Bangsamoro Transition Authority, uh, for the next three years.
Okay. Last few questions, Secretary. Uh, we are down to the last year of the president, and um, we, with five years behind him, we can see patterns in his governance style, his leadership style. You, you've been one of the constants in his cabinet. On what major decisions were you consulted on by the president? Major decisions. Major decisions. Uh, oh, yung ano, yung pag sa pag ano, pag um, declare ng Barcelo, Barcelo sa Mindanao. We discussed that uh, thoroughly, me, uh, Secretary Año, Secretary Espiron, yung security sector. We, uh, in fact, uh, we, uh, for a while, may mga discussion lang na doon lang sa Muslim area yung, uh, yung Marcelo. But eventually, uh, he decided na buong, ano na lang, buong uh, Mindanao dahil contiguous area yan eh. Kung yung Marcelo mo yung kabila, eh, hindi naman yung karating bayan ang karatig lalawigan, eh maglipat-lipat lang yung mga tao dyan. So, that's one of the major decisions that he made uh, consulting the security sector. Mm -hmm. Secretary, I remember in May 2017, you said you did not recommend martial law declaration in Mindanao. I think you told um, senators there uh, in a meeting. So, you're saying na you did not recommend but you were consulted and your consul your recommendation was not. Yeah, uh, yeah. but the recommendation is uh, wag muna siguro kasi mga mag ano eh, uh, martial law if not implemented properly ay mm. baka magbumerang sa atin. Ano? <coughs> but uh, when the president said, uh, decided to do that, I supported him. Mm. Eh, ginawa po niya akong uh, administrator ng martial law. <laughs> Secretary, uh, ano pa pong decisions? Uh, do you remember major decisions that you really remember? Uh, him wala asking? na, wala na. Uh, kasi he asked naman the, the opinions or if the individually or the individually the, uh, the, the cabinet members. Uh, mayroon naman siyang daily briefer about situation na binibigay ng National Security Council, National Security Advisor, um, Secretary Spiron, binibigyan siya ng araw-araw na nangyayari sa buong kapuluan. So, uh, he shall them sa come to me and ask for my for the information because alam niya na ngayon information. So, isa pang uh, dinulog niya sa amin uh, noong January, yung first cabinet meeting namin, ay he wanted to help, uh, help, sabi niya, I need help here whether to extend the uh, extend the the term of the BTA or not so kami kami nagbigay kami ng kaming maming mga opinion ako secretary Anyo secretary Galvez we are all for we were all for extension while uh, meron na bang iba-iba diyan na hindi so sabi so ng president yung current yung current official secretary i extend lang yung term nila hindi sila papalitan or hindi maglalabas ng new appointment papers ganun po bang recommendation ah uh, maaring magbago siguro yung mga members niyan uh, depende depende kung uh, ano kasi do we we look at it uh, marami din kasi members diyan na na appoint lang because of their membership with the MILF mm -hmm. na hindi naman sila qualified to become uh, parliamentary members ano um uh, maring yan ang magiging isang kondisyon para sa sa ate, sa extension ano to change some of them so that uh, medyo magiging vibrant at saka reactive at saka relevant yung mga mga members niyan so yun ang uh, panukala namin ng aming suggestions uh, we do not know if uh, it will be part of the uh, law that mm -hmm. uh, that Congress will pass to extend the uh, the the term of the BTA, the Bangsamoro Transition Authority. Okay, last question, Secretary. Um, inamin yun narin naman po na maraming beses na you were caught off guard by um, announcements of the president, yung mga pronouncements niya um, in the media or through documents published. Uh, how do you handle these instances when you are caught off guard and your announcement has a huge impact on your department, on your sector, on the military? How do you deal with that? Uh, what is the way to handle the situation knowing that you are, of course, still under the president, but he, he's, you are still his alter ego? Uh, when it comes to defense, uh, no? uh, I consult I consult him. What is the Ang, ang ano niya, gusto niya mangyari and uh, kung sila, pag sabi niya sa akin ganito, gusto ko mangyari, I support him wala mm -hmm. naman kaming discussion dyan eh uh, in the first place, he is the commander-in-chief and he is my boss and 
eh eh sa kanya this the 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 ano the the final decision is to him is for is a breast on him so uh, we have to follow what uh, what he wishes so. all right Thank you, Secretary Lorenzana, for joining us. It was a very enlightening dis discussion and wishing you the best of luck given that 11 months na lang po kayo, uh, Defense yeah, Secretary. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to be finished, uh, Papilla. Medyo, <laughs> ano na rin, uh, five years is uh, talagang, ano, yung challenging five years. Another challenging years uh, ahead. ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Secretary. Um, and to all our viewers, thanks for watching Raptor Talk Newsmaker. Again, I'm P. Renata. Goodbye. Thank, thank you, Pia. Thank you also.